If you've been in the crypto space for any amount of time, or maybe if you're just getting started, you've probably heard of Coinbase. But have you heard of Base? Base is a new layer two blockchain built on top of Ethereum, and they recently just launched their main net. Hi, my name's Steve, and I'm the head of community for Pinata, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can mint an NFT on Base using Pinata. Let's go take a look. So the first thing you're gonna need is a Pinata account. You can sign up at app.pinata.cloud and you can use the free account for this tutorial that we're going to use. Once you've signed in, we basically need to go ahead and upload something that we want to be our NFT. That could be an image, video, really anything that you want. And we're going to go ahead and upload a picture of Penny and that's going to be our NFT. So we can just go to here and click add files, select file. We're just going to go ahead and select penny.png here and upload it. And there we go. It's all done. You want to go ahead and copy this CID. We're going to use that for later. The next thing you're going to do is go ahead and create a metadata file. When it comes to NFTs, all the information about an NFT is usually tied to a JSON file. And don't worry if you haven't done a whole lot of coding, this is not that hard and I'll show you how to do it. And you can use this template down below and edit this file in your browser and use it for yourself. It's very easy to do. We're using a site called Replit and we already have our template for our metadata here. And it's really simple. We're just gonna go in here and change some details such as the name of the NFT so I can say Penny. And then we have the description which you can say uh, a Penny NFT minted on base. Very fun. You can have external URL which is gonna be any kind of website you wanna to link to your NFT project, something like that. And in here for the image, we're gonna do IPFS colon slash slash and then we're gonna paste in that CID that we used earlier. So you can go ahead and save this file and you can just click on this tab here where it says metadata.json and download it. And now we're gonna go back to Pinata. We're gonna click add files. We're gonna go ahead and upload that metadata file just like we did with the image. All right, once it's uploaded, we're gonna copy that CID as well and hold on to it for later. Next thing I'd probably recommend is signing up for the Coinbase wallet. I usually recommend this if you're gonna be working with base because a lot of the base functionalities and testnet faucets and networks, they're all kind of baked into the Coinbase wallet, it makes it really easy to use. So go ahead and visit coinbase.com wallet, sign up for one, go ahead and register, go through the process of creating your wallet, writing down your key phrase, all of that kind of stuff. Once you have it set up, you will need to put a little bit of actual Ethereum money into your wallet. I think it's like maybe $5 or something. It's something they do to prevent bots when it comes to getting testnet faucets. So once you're inside your wallet, one thing that you are gonna wanna do is go to settings here and go to developer settings and make sure you have testnets turned on. That's gonna be very important in just a minute. The other thing you probably want to go ahead and do is go to networks and if you go to test nets you'll see the base gorley and you can go ahead and click on this and there's a little faucet icon right here let me point at it again right there click on that and you can only request every 24 hours so i've already gotten my test net faucet token so uh, you should go ahead and do that as well and it takes about five minutes for it to hit your account so just make sure you have all of that before we go to the next step. So now we're gonna actually go ahead and create our smart contract and deploy it so we can mint our NFT. Now there's a lot of different ways you can mint an NFT and deploy smart contracts. I'm gonna be using a combination of Open Zeppelin and Remix because I think it's pretty simple and very easy to use, but feel free to do whichever method you wanna do. I think this method is nice because it gets your hands just a little bit dirty with smart contracts without going too far. So we're at openzeppelin.com slash contracts. We're gonna scroll down and they have a nice little builder here. We're gonna select ERC721. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in the name of it. I'm gonna call it Penny Bates. It's the name of the smart contract. Give it a symbol of PB. And for the features, I'm gonna go ahead and select mintable, auto increment IDs, burnable possible, and URI storage. Now you can kind of select which ones you want. And I'd recommend if you're gonna deploy this to mainnet, be sure to select the ones that are going to fit you the best research all the different features, make sure you have everything ready to go before you do that. But for ours, just a test net, nothing too crazy. Once you have everything selected, you can just go ahead and click open in Remix. And Remix is a online smart contract code editor. Thankfully, we don't have to do any kind of editing. All we have to do is hit compile contract. And there we go. It's all compiled, so we can go ahead and now deploy it. To deploy it, we want to click on this button that says here, it says deploy and run transactions. And to connect our Coinbase wallet and have everything ready to go, we need to go ahead and click on environment and do injected provider. Once you do that, it's going to connect, it's going to give you a prompt of which wallet you want to use, whether it's Coinbase or MetaMask. So I'm going to click Coinbase wallet. 
And then it's gonna give us a prompt to connect our wallet. Let's go ahead and do that. Once you're connected, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and open your Coinbase wallet. And you'll see in the top right here, there is a little network button and it shows which site we're connected to. You wanna click that and go to Base Gorley. So this is going to be our test net. So we're not gonna use any real money, we're gonna use some of those test net funds that we got from the faucet. Once that's set, we can just go ahead and hit deploy. It's going to make sure that we have all the stuff we need. Go ahead and hit confirm. And there we go. Once it's deployed, you'll see the green here on the bottom. And in the left side, you'll see a deployed contracts. If you click on this and expand it, you're going to see all the different functions so we can mint our NFT. The one that we're going to use in particular is this safe mint right here. And it takes two arguments. The first one is the address that we're going to mint the NFT to. So that would be your wallet address. And then the last one is string URI. And URI stands for Unified Resource Identifier. And it's essentially going to be that IPFS CID that has all the information about our NFT. That's what we're gonna use there. We're gonna go ahead and put in a wallet. Comma, and then we're gonna go ahead and do IPFS colon slash slash and then paste in that CID that we had from earlier. Once we do that, we're gonna hit click Safe Mint. It's gonna prompt us to approve the transaction, hit confirm. And there we go, if it's worked, you should see it there. Now let's go see if we can find our NFT. So to go ahead and look at our NFT, you can go to testnets.opensea.io and we can go ahead and look at the NFT that we've minted. And so you will need to go ahead and connect your wallet. So go ahead and do that with the top right. So here's the wallet that I minted all my NFTs to, that I have all the ones, and we see right here, and here it is. Here's our NFT, Penny, from Penny Base, the smart contract. Our nice picture of Penny. We have all of our information. Very cool. Well, that wraps it up for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. We can't wait to see what you build on base with Pinata.